Hi guys, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and uh, we're looking at Krita on the new Surface Go with the new Surface Pen. This is the 4 gigabyte model. We're using the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro, and to demonstrate what the Artist Pad is doing, we're using this uh, key press OSD to show what shortcuts are being pressed. The first thing you're, you're going to want to do if you're using Tablet Pro is go over to Settings, Configure Krita, and you're going to choose Keyboard Settings, Default Tablet Pro, Canvas Input Settings, Default Tablet Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I did some testing on this the other day, and uh, was actually very happy with how fast and smooth it ran. The Surface Go has been surprising me quite a bit. I find for whatever reason, I don't know what Microsoft tweaked or what's different about it, but there's quite a few programs that run, um, I, I don't want to say better than my Surface Book, uh, but very, very close, which is, again, it's very surprising. And I don't know what that is like on a massively large uh, I don't know what that's like on a, a program with a bunch of layers that's really large and really eats up that four gigabytes. But on um, I, when I'm, I used to draw and do, you know, I'd have like twenty or thirty layers in a in a in a picture, and and I found over time that that managing that was um, <laughs> too difficult. And so uh, I now make a lot less layers when I draw. All right, let's see, let's grab one of these blending brushes. I tend to find blending to be one of the more um, slow labor uh, processor intensive processes. All right, some of these menu items are really difficult to see. Right, right, right. Can't use the pencil in zoom mode. Not sure how to hide this. All right, I like the extra screen real estate. Let's pick a different brush. There we go. So we're gonna try and get this to lag. You can see it uh, lagging just a little bit there. Uh, the size of this brush is 293 pixels. So unless you're in a race, this is probably going to be okay.
For those of you who have not tried Krita or haven't tried it in a long time, it, it supports the pressure. It didn't use to support pressure natively on Surface devices, and, and it does now, which is uh, really the, the main drawback that I used to see with the program. Uh, now I think it's, it's quite good for almost all types of art. Do some blending here. And again, you can see it lagging back a little bit. All right, uh, for Krita, I would rate Krita uh, uh, 3.75 stars. <laughs> I'd say it's probably about four stars for the Surface Go. It really does a good job if you're not doing massive brushes. This is 359 pixels, so more than likely, uh, I most of the time I, I don't work that large. And when you're working at a, at a normal resolution, that, that little bit of slowdown is going to be uh, probably unnoticeable. really is a nice experience. All right, you guys, until next time, stay creative. And please check out uh, Tablet Pro at tabletpro.com. There's a 14-day free trial, as well as KeyPress. Uh, KeyPress does a lot of different things that you guys will like. Check out my review of KeyPress on the channel. All right, thanks.